But hey, the truth hurts, right? Watch how this woman, Ms. Shin, hates to hear the truth about how much the Chinese Communist Party steals. One figure upon which she bases her argument is that alleged Chinese intellectual property theft deprives the American economy of 600 billion U.S. dollars annually. And how do you define theft? According to whom? So, dear Trish, perhaps you need a better research team. Mm. Dear Lu Xin, my research team is the best in the business. And you want to know how I define theft? I define it like this. In 2018, a Chinese wind turbine manufacturer is found guilty of stealing trade sec secrets from a U.S. company, costing that U.S. company $800 million. Also last year, according to the DOJ, two Chinese nationals, they were accused of coordinating with Chinese state security officials in an extensive hacking campaign, allegedly infiltrating 45 U.S. companies and government agencies, as well as more firms in more than a dozen countries. The hackers stole information from companies in all kinds of industries, including banking and finance, telecommunications, biotechnology, automotive, and health. So, okay, yeah, Lu Xin, I'd call that stealing. What do you call it? Meanwhile, the Chinese Communist Party seems to be trying to send a message with this. Can you negotiate with people who cross the line of decency? I don't think so. When they issue unreasonable demands, compounded by virtually pointing a gun at your head, in this case, of course, tariffs, even if you wanted to engage, you simply can't. Mm. Yeah, you can. I mean, it's not that hard. Don't overcomplicate it. All the U.S. is asking for is free, fair trade. Zero tariffs on your goods, zero tariffs on ours. And no more stealing our stuff, okay? Is that really that hard? Can you really not understand that while we don't begrudge your economy the opportunity to grow and grow you have been doing, we're okay with it. As so long as it's happening amid an environment in which U.S. workers are not punished. So I'll tell you what, Lucian, you seem like a nice enough woman. And even if you are just reading state propaganda written for you off a teleprompter by a member of the Communist Party, I would like to invite you to have an honest live debate with me, a real discussion. You name the time, you can name the place, someplace neutral outside of China or the U.S., and consider this an invitation, Ms. Shin. I very much look forward to your reply.